happening in space is the freedom of movement and things that we can see, uh, gosh, glaciers, uh, something that I love to see is mountains, the shadows from the mountains and the glaciers and the streaks of uh, things caught up in the glaciers. Over. I love the people that I work with as well as the fact that we do work that supports all of humanity. Over. I do believe that it's possible. I think humans have had to do that, certainly not over the great distances we're talking about in space, but humans certainly have had lots of exploration that involved isolation and loneliness. Over. Uh, I looked out the window and I said, wow, I was very impressed by the inky blackness of space in the background with a sunlit Earth in the foreground. Over. Yes, uh, being in space, the atmosphere seems much thinner than when I lived in it all the time. So um, my perception is we need to take much more care of the atmosphere, which is the layer that we need to be able to live in. Over. Uh, it was just short of a year, I think uh, 344 days, roughly somewhere around there, over. Uh, the combination of uh, mental and physical challenges as well as the opportunity to serve, over. Uh, sciences and engineering, right now to be a U.S. astronaut you actually have to get a master's degree, over. Fortunately, not very easily. Um, you need to have a combustion source, an oxygen, and uh, up here, the first reaction we have is to shut off all the ventilation because uh, that prevents the fire from moving over. Considering that I don't get a lot of fresh food, it was the best salad I'd ever had in my entire life, and I mean that very honestly. Over. Gracias.